Hey everyone, your designers are here. I'm Anita with Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly with My Soulful Home. And we have tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today. So let's get started. Welcome to episode 62. Today we're going to talk about nine ways to refresh your family room. It's a room that probably gets a ton of use and maybe a multi-purpose room. So we've got some ideas for you to really make it um, a special place for you and your family to join together and just add some special touches that will make you feel good about being in there. And you know, Kelly, this couldn't come at a better time. I'm working with a company and going to do a an article for a company about refreshing our uh, living our, our family room. So I'm really excited. I've been thinking about it, and I'm Ooh. excited to do a little bit of tweaking and refreshing with mine. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Well, yes. feel I'm free to use any of our ideas. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> and we'll have to. Well, when it when that comes out, we'll stick it in the show notes so everybody okay, can see that. Okay. Thank you. Great. Yeah. yeah. Do you both have a family room? Yes, I do. I well, I yeah, we call it a family room. We really just have in this house. There's just one living area. So I mean, call it what you want, but it's so a it's very casual open concept. In right. Mm-hmm. House. Right. 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 And And mine's a designated family room. Okay. And we are Mm -hmm. in the midst of creating a family room. So we're in all Mm. different places. Mm. And there's probably people that are listening who have a living room that is a family room. So maybe it functions casually and formally, or Mm -hmm. maybe there's an office in there or something like that. Do you think anybody really has one of the old fashioned living rooms where it's just very formal and that's all it's used for? I kind of do. Do you really? Well, not because I'm, uh, you know, the the old lady in Pasadena. Not yet, anyway. But, <laughs> right, and I'm looking out my window to see what's going on in the world, pushing the curtains back. Uh, Gladys, Mrs. Gladys Kravitz, is alive Mrs. Kravitz, and well. Kravitz, yeah, right, from Bewitched, <laughs> Mrs. Kravitz. Um, yeah. Oh, I loved watching that. Um, so, but I do because uh, the. By virtue of the kind of house that I have in the year that it was built, there were no big oh, screen that's TVs, true. Mm-hmm. right? So it's. I, it's not small like a keeping room, which I think of as like a sitting room. Sometimes you have those in older houses, but it is more of a formal living room. I try to use it, as I've told you before, Emmett uses it, our dog. Oh, uh, well, it's important, it's important that it be formal room. for Emmett. Yeah. <laughs> Emmett. Emmett is like Mrs. Kravitz, actually. He's always looking at the window to see what's Does going on. Does Emmett entertain in there? That's what I want to know. Uh, he entertains himself. Yeah, see, so oh. all his Well, toys I don't are... want to hear about that. Well, no, no, no. With his toys, you silly girl. But we are now making a family room in the barn. So, you know, oh, how when, nice. with the big, you know, the big couch will come, not the DNA couch, but a, a big, um, mm-hmm. the big white couch that we had in the other house. And there would be a big TV and people can gather. And here's the scary part. I said teenagers can come over. So I don't know uh, what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that I, may not be a family room. That may be the teenage hangout room. I know. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm a little afraid of. But I already said it could mm-hmm. happen. So I can't go back on my word. So, um, <laughs> I'll keep you posted. Well, first. we have a formal living room, but it's not formal. It's sort of welcoming but um and it's not like you know how I always talk about our show towels it's yeah. not like a show living room that you just you know it's pretty to look at but it doesn't get nearly the wear that our family room gets although the living room is the I think it's the brightest room in our house and uh, mm-hmm. it has three windows and a French door and it's very open and I love the feel of it our family room is probably the darkest room in our house. Um, but that's where, every, because it's off the kitchen, so everybody congregates there. Yeah. And it does, and I hear, and this is why I'm excited about this post, the rooms that we live in the most need freshening up mm-hmm. more often. Well, that's true, because you're in there all the time. Yeah, and they so, get yeah, tired. Need to, that's right. We need to make them fresh. We mm-hmm. entertain people and... Yeah, and, and that's sometimes a room that you use a lot becomes sort of a magnet for stuff. Or, you know, <laughs> yes. I'm going to get to that, or mm-hmm. I have a pile of this. So, you know, we've said it before, we'll say it again, purge it. You know, purge. Look around mm-hmm. and see if there's mm-hmm. that craft project you didn't get to. See if you could just put it in a closet somewhere. M- move it out of there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My so, mantra, be mm-hmm. ruthless. Be ruthless. And this I is like so that. sweet. I can't remember the name of 
um, one of my readers, but uh, she said to me today that she was moving and she was using that mantra, but now they say, uh, there is no Ruth here. Get it, Ruthless? Ah. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? I really got a little giggle She's out of that clever. today. I know. I said, whatever works, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I think that's true. Uh, purge. So let me, can I start? Because Please. this has yes. to do with some purging. I'm going to say if you have uh, a bookshelf or built-ins or anything like that, um, that, that has some kind of shelving, uh, get everything out of it. Again, purge it all, edit, mm-hmm. edit, 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 mm-hmm. edit, and then rearrange your bookshelves and do it. I love your word. Here's Kelly's word, judiciously, mm-hmm. and give it a curated look. You want well, it to be, mm-hmm. and here's my words, functional and fabulous. You want it to look nice because you're in there. In a, and seriously, that's a very big vertical space, a bookshelf, but you also want it to, you want it to look lovely and nice, but you also want it to work for, with you as well. And Yvonne, when I had the, one of the magazines coming here to shoot, mm-hmm. they looked in, and I didn't have a lot in my, I have two of those, uh, cabinets with the chicken wire doors on either side of my fireplace. And they really weren't that full, but the stylist came over and really removed about half of it. Oh, interesting. You think of a stylist be adding. No, right. But but in the cabinetry, in bookcases, they take things out. So, yeah, and I don't think it, and it wasn't just me. I mean, that's what they, she said, that they just always end up pulling things out. So if, and that, this is another secret. I mean, when people ask, why doesn't my house look like a magazine? One of the big answers is you've got too much stuff in there. Yeah. If you want that look, take some stuff out. Right. And it's painful and- because I love to see all my goodies, but, you know, just rotate them. Rotate your goodies. Mm-hmm. Or get rid of some stuff. That's what I mean. I really do like to move things on and out. I bumped into a friend not too long ago, a very wise friend, because I bumped into her at my favorite hospital thrift store, and she was trolling around. I kind of tried to catch up with her and see what mm-hmm. she was looking at. <laughs> <laughs> we had a nice chat, and it turns out I didn't know she listened to the podcast. It was so fun. And Aww. she said, I don't remember what episode she was talking about, but she said, you know, and then it made me think about, it. maybe it was the one we did about bookcases or vignettes or something. She said, you know... About 10 years ago, I put a bunch of things on my shelves, and I never thought about them again. And I, oh my I haven't God. moved them. And she's Whoops. like, and I walk, she's like, I walk past them every day. And, mm-hmm. you know, now I'm, I'm looking at them, and I'm thinking, do I want them there? Mm-hmm. Or, you, become, you know, do I even like them anymore? You mm-hmm. become mess blind. You certainly do. About, uh-huh. Yeah, and, well, and then you get something even new, you add it in. That's right. the thing. We buy new stuff, we put it in, but... The hard part to, is taking the stuff out. out. You right. got it. If you mm-hmm. and that's kind of my rule. If I add something, something's got to go. Right. So I have but a couple of friends I give rule. things to, right. uh, and and a lot of stuff just moves on out. Right. But the other thing is too. Sometimes you just have to take a hard look at what's there because sometimes you know they're saying you don't see what's there to be seen. Right. You know, sometimes mm-hmm. you're just so used to something. So so and because we do this all the time and we're producing content for our blogs and taking pictures and stuff it it's part of our everyday lives but uh, you know kind of like sorry to say but like normal people that aren't, you know, like, aren't moving stuff around and are the non-crazy on, bloggers you know, and the, podcasters <laughs> exactly all the people who have actual real lives and are doing mm-hmm. you know out doing other things <laughs> outside of their houses you know they're not doing that and uh, but you just have to do it once in a while so i mm-hmm. have said to you uh clients and readers on my blog before just sometimes just go look at go look at a room so let, let's go look at our family room so go, let's if you're at home go look at it right now and can i throw look. my can i throw my tip in here again yeah sure Kelly, bring it photograph on. the room ah that's a good tip. yes good photograph good, the room good idea. and then look at the photo you're going to mm-hmm. notice that stuff that you don't notice when you just walk past it every it's day it's so good true. idea mm-hmm so true okay mm-hmm. so where are we at um Yvonne threw something in right mm-hmm. 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 Okay. rearranging your bookshelves well it's just such a great mm-hmm. idea 
Uh, Anita, you want to give us something? I do have an idea. Uh, to I love the big baskets, and I think that's a great kind of a now look. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can get the vintage, old-looking big baskets, and I'm talking about the big ones that sit on the floor. Sometimes they're round, sometimes they're kind of more rectangular, but they've got usually got handles, tall. So I'm really talking about something big size, something that you could mm-hmm. put pillows in if you wanted to, but you don't have to. But these big baskets just look so cozy. You can go for the vintage or antique ones, but there's a lot of new ones. Right, haven't you both seen? There's so many gorgeous new baskets out right now. Yeah. I love they have the ones they're all they they're um they're a almost like a cotton mm-hmm. um uh knit, they're almost like knitted and they're real slouchy. Yes. Oh, I love those. Yeah, baskets. they almost look like beach bags or they something. They do, yeah. but they're real slouchy looking. Mm-hmm. Uh but I agree with you, Anita, and I I'll tell you, I'm just going to give a plug. Home Goods has fabulous big baskets mm-hmm. at wonderful prices. So um, look there if you have one, yeah. if you're looking for a big basket. That's where I've gotten all of mine. And uh, they hold pillows. They hold plants. They hold all kinds of things. Well, and it's it, a real yeah. great textural look. Well, but also, like you just alluded to, it's a great place to store stuff. If you're needing more mm-hmm. storage in your room, you can put things in those baskets. If it's not attractive, maybe you can put a, throw a pillow on top so you can't see, mm-hmm. you know, the, the junk underneath it. Or like you said, some of the round ones are great for mm-hmm. putting plants in. I, it's really kind of a fresh look and something that, you know, if it's a, but I would also call it foundational. So if you change this out, this is something you'd probably want to keep in there. Absolutely. Could, yeah. I have a thought. And we you... have one just, we have a great big one to put um, pillows in, and I just have it behind a chair. Mm-hmm. So it's sort of peeking out from behind oh, the chair yeah. in the corner, and it just gives a lot of layered interest. Um, if, speaking of layered interest and texture, so, and if you're, you're just wanting to have some baskets and they're going to be open, you're not necessarily going to put anything in them. You can get those sets of three baskets, which they often Mm. sell at all the Mm -hmm. different places. And you can, instead of just letting them all sit inside of them as you might buy them, sort of perch them out a little bit so they're much more three dimensional, you know, and they're, Mm -hmm. they're coming up. Do you know what I'm saying? They're coming up out of each other a little bit. And maybe in the top, smaller one. You're going to you sort of prop them up. Prop them, right. Oh, mm-hmm. maybe put mm-hmm. a little book or something underneath. Well, them you know, kind of I've up. done this. And because they're, uh, I have this in my dining room, if they are um, textured enough, the the wicker or the rattan or something will catch. You know, so you're kind yes. of wedging it in I, there. I got gotcha. Oh, I see. And uh-huh. then you're wedging mm-hmm. the smaller one. So you have the three in the the. Uh, small, medium, large sizes. And then in the top one, you could do something charming. You could maybe put a fern and let it sort of fall out. Or oh, you could... how great idea you is that? I yes. have um, this little, uh, this wooden carved lady. I mean, she looks like a miniature of what would be on the front of a like an old pirate ship or something like that. You know how they had those women carved? <laughs> yeah, in the yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the yes. only way to describe her. I don't know. Somebody probably carved her or something, but I found her at a, at a yard sale, and she's small. I mean, she's not like on a ship. I mean, it would be like Barbie ship. You know, she's only like 12. <laughs> she's like 16 inches tall or something. But I have her and then an old... Um, feathered like a pretty feather feather duster but it's just the feathers that you see because the 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 handles tucked behind her and then at christmas time like i'll add i'll give her a christmas ball to hang out with or you know (laughs) or a a little mini pumpkin or something like Mm -hmm. that so she sits in the little top basket so i think that's a fun way to add um texture and height Mm -hmm. good idea kelly Mm -hmm. do you have another one to throw in i do i'm i'm seeing in my mind now and when I'm decorating the family room that I'm working on Mm -hmm. and I'm also working with a client now who we both have these very big glunky square coffee tables to work with Mm -hmm. hers Mm -hmm. is black and it's just a square and has really not very interesting legs they're just clunky and then I have this sort of distressed wooden one and the the legs are sort of a distressed green in the top so I was gonna paint it and do something fun with it but it just is like funk it's just in the middle of the room Mm -hmm. it's doing nothing and it's adding too much weight in a bad way so I'm suggesting to her and I am 
taking my own advice and I'm going to go with either a glass top or a lucite or uh, I found this marble top table that has uh, it's almost like a low barrel and it has this wire so the coffee table isn't taking up a lot of visual space and it's mm-hmm. not a focal point you know, if it's just a big square of wood it's probably not all that interesting you know if you have a beautiful wooden coffee table go for it and stick with it. But if it's just sort of a big clunky piece and um, you, and, and particularly if your room isn't that large, if you took that out and replaced it with something that has a very uh, low uh, profile in the, you know, taking up visual space mm-hmm. like glass or lucite, I think you can really change up your room quickly. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add DOSE to your wellness regime. DOSE is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.com co slash dtt and use the code dtt that's dose daily dot co dot co slash dtt and use the code dtt pesto pork chops over parmesan polenta not that easy to say but oh so easy to make with green chef green chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well and we have such a great deal for you you're going to save 250 dollars. listen on for the details on that green chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle whether you're keto paleo vegan vegetarian gluten-free or just looking to eat more balanced meals you know we're getting into the busy holiday season so it's a perfect time to have green chef help you out Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And that deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. And you said the magic word, Lucite. Lucite. Mm, yeah. You have to, you know, give that a try. Lucite is such a fresh look. It's well, it's been around forever, but it's uh really come back hot. Yeah. And um it really goes with any style mm-hmm. and whatever True. you have, it'll just pop. It'll just make everything around it look just so much more sassy and polished. It really so, does go mm-hmm. with any style. Cause when I first mentioned it to this particular client, Ooh. she's done, we've worked on this house together for almost a year and it, it, she has such a beautiful earthy, very of the moment look. It's and. And she, but she's it got it all mixed up. You know, it's great. She's got mixing highs and lows, and she's mixing different textures. And and she was like, "Oh, loose side. I just don't know if that's going to work." But I've been showing her some samples and ideas from catalogs, and one that we really liked is from Wisteria, that which mm-hmm. just the catalog yes. just came out. Mm-hmm. If you get that one, and it's a square loose side table, and it has these um, 
sort of unlacquered brass or you know aged brass looking straps on the um, where the legs meet. Oh, I'm going it's to really it nice. Out. Yeah, and it and it's on sale. But you know, swoon, 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 swoon. Mm-hmm. But anyway, nice. that's my thought about the coffee tables. Uh, you know, and people, I think co- people don't put enough thought into coffee tables. It's like okay, whatever works. You know, well, that's I what like I was just going to use this thing yeah. that I had, which was really a hand-me-down from one of my clients who didn't want it anymore. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, that's a great table. Why should we give? She's like, take it. So I've had it. And I was like, I'm just going <laughs> to use that table and it'll be fine. But then I thought, I'm putting all this effort into this room and this table that's is right. just not going to be fine. It's a me. large it's a large piece of decor real estate. It yes, really is. it really is. Well, I know. And mm-hmm. I'm so honestly, well, comfort does is important to me. And so we just end up using an ottoman for a coffee table because I want to put my feet there. Mm. And that's a great idea too. I'd use a so, tray or something. Yeah, we use a tray that we it. shove off with our feet when we're <laughs> watching Netflix. <laughs> I so don't see you as a shove off with my feet. Onto well, the floor. okay. Kind yeah, of gal, my, but I'm, type A I love, girl. I love, no, I love no, that. No. I love that thought. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big talker on the podcast, but in real life, I'm gently <laughs> placing point. it on uh-huh. the floor. <laughs> gently placing it and then just rearranging uh-huh. everything. We're keeping just a minute, it real, Nita Jean. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. Keeping you real, babe. Okay. Um, well, yeah, I'm, gonna, out. I'm gonna do another one, and I'm yeah. gonna say, get a new accent rug. Good idea. Yeah. I just recently did that, albeit it is another jute rug, but it's a different one. And, oh, it just made such a big difference. And I got a much larger one covering much more of our hardwood floor. And we just really love it. Now, if you have wall-to-wall, don't let that um, discourage you from putting an accent rug down. Layer them because they look absolutely beautiful layered. Oh, and accent yeah. rugs are so reasonable. Mm-hmm. And even if you get a smaller one, let's say if you have wall to wall carpeting, what a difference that's going to bring to your room. It will really freshen up. And when we're talking about freshening up, we're not talking about throwing the baby out with the bathwater, like everything in your room has to go. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and it's funny, again, today on my blog, I have five tips to freshen up a room. Mm-hmm. And I talk about that and like how to sort of plan that. Mm-hmm. But if you want to bring, you know, one piece in and it's not even an investment, you do not have to make an investment in a, in a, an accent rug. You just want something that's going to make your room pop and be fresh and a little more updated. And I say, get a rug. Well, I'd like to add a little note. Speaking of mm-hmm. accent rugs, mm-hmm. uh, you both probably know that I'm involved in this uh, Dash and Albert yes. uh, rug challenge, design yes. challenge. I just wanted to mention it uh, to in case you haven't heard about it. It's mm-hmm. on the Annie Silk. Well, tell our listeners. Well, it's, it's the Annie Silk, who's the maker of Dash and Albert rugs. They've invited 15 design bloggers, and I was one of the lucky ones they chose to be included in this design challenge were all designing three rugs so these designs rugs you're doing three rugs i thought everybody was doing one rug well everyone's submitting i should say submitting we're submitting three designs and so each there's so there's three designs per design blogger or design influencer or whatever they're calling us and then uh, apartment therapy is kind of going to be showing everything that's going on but everyone's going to get to vote and the designs that have the most votes uh annie silk is going to make those rugs and introduce them at high point in 2018 oh vote for our anita vote for our anita um when anita when is that is that that's not on your blog yet right well it's i kind of mentioned i I talked about it but you don't have are you going to show us the designs Uh, yes of course i will but i'm not doing it so we i submit them i turn them in so i can't show them now because i don't want anyone copying my designs so they're not on there yet talk about ruthless i know i'm (laughs) telling you i i was showing them to a friend and i'm like i can't email them this is Top secret. Whoa. We'll have to show it to you on up, my phone. Keep us updated where to vote for them, Anita. Yes. So it will How be exciting. July 7th. July 7th will be Ooh, when you start okay. voting. Oh, that's uh, So hmm. I, that's right. July 7th will be when we're voting. So it'll be during July. And you'll be voting on the Annie Silk Instagram account. So I think you just like the design that you uh, literally, you know, quote unquote, like the ones mm-hmm. that you like mm-hmm. on there. And I'll be, yes. Oh, so I'll fun. be sharing and more. 
while we're waiting to vote for Anita's rug, <laughs> think about adding an accent rug to your family room. What yes. a difference that will make. Right. Yes, and then you can buy Anita's rug when she wins. I'm sure that's, she wins. And then that's put it in another room. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. That's right. Okay. So uh, I have another one. Yes. How about if you have a fireplace in your family room? Mm-hmm. Doing Which something- we do. You do, and a lot of people do, either if it's wood burning or it's the log sets, you can sort of refreshen up that whole look. Obviously, if it's wood burning, you could take out the the wood holders and the grates and clear out the space and do something inside of it. If you've got mm-hmm. the, the um, gas logs and all that, you could do something in front of it. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, particularly in the warmer weather or if you're a family that doesn't really use the fireplace all that much, it's just sort of a black hole. Yes. Yeah. And, yes, it is. Right? Mm-hmm. You know? Yes. And uh-huh. so you could take, a, some people have the built-in screens and all of that, but you mm-hmm. could just go either right in front of it. Mm-hmm. You could do mm-hmm. a large scale vignette in front of it. Oh, you yeah. could. Uh-huh. That's um, true. Anita has a beautiful screen, which I think is made with a grain sack. Which yeah, and it's an mm-hmm. antique. So lovely. Mm-hmm. You could search for something like that. But if you can go inside the fireplace, I have a wood burning that doesn't function right now. And so I have one of these big baskets that you're talking about with the handle. And I filled it with uh tons of pine cones the big mm-hmm. pine cones at christmas mm-hmm. time and nice. i wove mm-hmm. in uh battery operated lights i loved oh, what that. a great idea yeah that was really nice oh, just and remember just glows yeah just remember to leave the little battery thing that you can turn on and off <laughs> or have a remote, yeah. a remote. Mm-hmm. so kelly you know one one time well so we don't have the the kind of fireplaces it's a uh, gas and it's kind of sealed up uh-huh. so i can't put anything in the fireplace right. but at one point i took a big frame and uh put i think i framed this map and just put it right in front of the fireplace just for a different look so oh, if you know, i think that's yeah pretty. i think it's a great look i mean that, so that's if you've got some... a huge one right mm-hmm, it needs to be mm-hmm. large i mean it needs to be bigger than the you know the mm-hmm. size of the opening. right 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 and in... then right so i changed it obviously i don't have these christmas things going on in there right now so right mm-hmm. now i have some boston ferns which you know are not, probably not getting as much light as they would really like <laughs> but sometimes i pick up the basket and i move them over and give them a little light but the room gets light so well, they're they're getting a... Diffused light, and so the, and it looks beautiful, and it's just this Such really pretty pop idea. of green. So Kelly, how about a rotation program where you've got one waiting outside on the that's, porch, and then you just switch them idea. out every week or mm-hmm. something? That's a great. I'm going to put that on my calendar. There you go. There's <laughs> something else for you to do. Perfect, because I've got a lot of free time. <laughs> yeah, well, I noticed. <laughs> right now, I have a big. I have these big w- white wooden uh, barn siding stars or 3d stars oh those are pretty mm -hmm. and i have that um up on my mantle then i have one actually on my hearth and then i have white lanterns in different sizes also across uh the hearth of my of of my fireplace and it looks you know really sharp because uh you know we're not going to put a fire in that during the mm-hmm. winter so we right. i like that glow in the summer. from there i yeah. mean sorry yes yeah. in the summer but i like that glow from there uh, yeah mm-hmm. well great idea Sounds gorgeous mm-hmm. well i'm talking i'm going to continue and okay. i'm going to say the p word uh, uh, which one is this? <laughs> the There's so many. Hold your it's ears, pillows. everyone. Oh, oh, oh it's pillows. always pillows from me. Well, I was going to say pillows, but I knew you were going to take oh, it. So. Okay, okay. <laughs> we just defer but, to the queen of pillows. Yeah, well, I have, you. I have to let you have the pillows because yeah. you are the pillow queen. And oh, I am just. Oh, you're so sweet. Although well, I'm just like a too. pillow you're the princess. Pillow or princess. Or something. Yes. Well, yes. Oh, gosh. I love that. Okay, well, <laughs> and even, if you, even if you would have brought it up, I would have just totally. Um, usurp that and just gone with it. So, <laughs> well, pillows, because uh, I think about, you know, how many times that it's your family room, the pillows are being thrown on the floor, you're laying your mm-hmm. head on them all the time. If you are if you lay on the sofa, you're using them, they're getting all scrunched up. It's a really good time to take uh, stock in your pillows mm-hmm. and say, hey, what pillows stay and what pillows go. Right. And well, visit it, your pillow uh, file yeah. cabinet. Mm-hmm. In oh, my, well, which yeah. my sure everyone file. now has. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's right. But I mean, I really agree with you. The pillows are just the simplest, easiest way mm-hmm. to really change up your room. And you can do 
it can make such a change when yes. you change out the pillows with different colors, different patterns, yep. different textures. For it it makes such a different changing look. them, which I do. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing, even just to literally freshen them up. So, mm-hmm. you know, they get dirty, they get grimy, oily, whatever, you know, full of pet hair. There's everything has a life cycle and pillows do too. And if if they're uh, the style, the color that you want right now. So a good way. And mm-hmm. also when you're doing that with your pillows, do that with your throws. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I had to take an assessment on, of my throws because we have our throws in a big uh, lidded, almost it looks like a, um, a basket, but it's like a laundry basket. It's lined and we have it behind mm-hmm. the sofa. And I was pulling them all out and thinking, oh my gosh, how many of these have been out to the fire pit or, you know, how many times have the dogs laid on that? And, and, um, I did, I just washed a whole great big bunch of them, but also, you know, if they're getting a little shabby, it seems like, you know, all the, the nicer ones go to the bedrooms and the living rooms and then, then they go to the family room, then they go to the dog bed. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) So, you know, maybe instead just they're, they're so inexpensive nowadays. So just like update both your pillows and your throws. Oh yeah. If you bought yourself two new toss pillows and a throw and you did it at home goods or tj maxx or marshall's or something like mm-hmm. that you could probably get out of there for you know what do you think i think 60 to 80 dollars for mm-hmm. all three oh, pieces less than that maybe less, less than that oh right? yeah. yeah and, and, and uh, i've made some recently mm-hmm. so i'm gonna link to those oh those so are gorgeous different. oh oh the you. velvet one stop me in yes. the tracks. Well, yes oh, for yes. heaven's sakes yes. yes and i actually have a throw i just got a piece of wool and put our monogram on it oh, and fringed it. I, so well, you know, I'm a monogram girl. Mm-hmm. Oh. I am a monogram girl. But yeah, uh, get get rid of the old pillows because, you know, mm-hmm. sometimes they don't even smell good. That's why your dogs love them <laughs> oh, so stop. much. Uh, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Everybody go smell your pillows. Okay. <laughs> I have um, a rift off the pillow or a different way mm-hmm. to think about pillows. How about pillows on the floor for lounging it is a family room right sometimes people like to lay on the floor to watch Mm -hmm. a movie or Mm -hmm. kids want to sit on the floor to pet the dog or something like that I like that look sort of three pillows uh, maybe different textures different patterns you stack Mm -hmm. them up is that well I kind of if you have if you don't have room you could stack but I kind of splay them out okay Um, well and you have teenagers so that just kind of goes yeah they like to yeah they are so um we Mm -hmm. have a few that we had in the other house that I'm going to re I'm going to recover them. They're, they were really good. I got them at a pottery barn outlet years and years ago. So they're really good, but they're in jewel tone velvets, which is not really what's going to work now, but I'm going to mm. cover them with something, um, teenage proof and mm-hmm. put them <laughs> outside. And you know, that like the big stack of, um, baskets that I was talking about, it adds a little interest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's, not an expensive way to go, mm-hmm. but it really can change up a room and change the way maybe you also the way you function in the room. Yeah. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Greenchef.com slash 60DTT. And use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. 
I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor. And I can really recommend their ultra stretch super wide leg pants at $49.90. The price is unbeatable and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Yeah. Well, I've got one for the... I'm waiting. The, I know. Well, okay. I'm waiting. What is a, it? A silence fall. <gasps> yeah. It's a um, one of the faux olive trees or even a real olive tree. Oh, I love yeah. those. I mean, how I've seen... the leaf fiddle leaf fig the fiddle leaf figs i love those too i mean i just oh, think I some love plant those. that is such a does mm-hmm. that plant know how trendy it is well oh, but the my. olive well the olive trees are very hot 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 also they are and yes, the fiddle yes. leaves yes yes so although i've it. had a couple an and i'm not you know i've sort of got that thumb that doesn't like things to grow inside and i've had a harder time with that my fiddle leaf fig is oh just, how is yours done because oh, you've had it for how long now um well, I got it in the winter because I got it on like a super sale. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so I've had it for maybe four four months, five months. And it's how's it doing? doing? fabulous. Well, honey, if you can keep it alive, maybe there's hope for me. I'm thinking about <laughs> buying one. No, it's I, I put it by a, uh, a window that gets afternoon bright light and it just loves it. Well, what about if you go out of town? I'm wondering if you can get one of those watering oh. things, you know, oh, that no, waters no, no. it when you're gone. And, Anita, hmm. next week I'm going to do a hack on how to do that. Oh, on the blog. okay. So what a we'll, we'll already have, we'll actually I'll put it on the show notes because um you know we're taping early obviously and um I'll have that done. So I have a really easy oh, way to do that. I'm, okay, awesome. Okay, all right. And then another item I have is the big glass bottles, the demijohns. Mm. Uh, and sometimes they come in crates and sometimes not. I mean, I have a lot of antique ones that with the wavy glass, but I've even seen some new ones. I think these are, although they're, they've been around forever. I mean, the trend, these demijohns have been popular for, for probably a hundred years in, in decor, but mm-hmm. I've seen them a lot that they're, they're making reproduction ones. Mm-hmm. So and I Anita, definitely... can I rift off that yes. as well? Yes. If if Demi John is not your style, you brought up such a good point. Just something like a big glass jug that right. you could put a few cool big fawns of something mm-hmm. in. Yeah. That would really make a difference. What a great idea. Yeah, and so like if you're you know, I, I always want to use them for floral floral arrangements, but the really big ones, you know, the 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 stems are not going to be mm-hmm. long enough to get to the bottom, but if you have mm-hmm. some something dried or like old uh, limbs or branches you can put in there, you know, that don't oh, need water, yes. that's a good thing to put in there. Or you know what? I'm just thinking about Kelly's idea of the lights. What about putting a string of those lights in there? Mm. Oh, there you go. Yeah, maybe that where, where, the, where the switch is outside the bottle, so mm-hmm. you're not going to... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would be. I would be afraid. I wouldn't be able to retrieve them if it all went in there. What but, were? Yeah. Do you know what? What were they used for? Uh, wine, I think. Wine, right? Yeah, that's I what think I thought. So. Although mm. they're awfully big, yeah. But that's perfect. <laughs> Although I've seen some <laughs> that size. That? <laughs> I've seen some uh, with sang- filled with sangria at Costco that are about that size. So oh my. Oh, okay. And can can I just sort of round this off by just saying, a wonderful way to freshen up any room is always to paint it. Um, even if you paint it the same color, I don't think we, a lot of people paint their walls as often as they should, Mm -hmm. because when you start painting a wall, it just freshens the entire room up. 
Mm, and the other, uh, yeah, exactly. And the other thing to do is if you have furniture, have it um, professionally cleaned and mm-hmm. scotch guarded. Oh, yeah. Great mm-hmm. idea. Those are just more practical things, but that makes a very big difference to have a um, a literal refresh and also a decorative refresh as well. Excellent points. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, these are all great ideas. Um, so this has just been wonderful. Were you going to say something, Kelly? No, no, I just took, I agree. I, I loved all of these, so now I want to go uh, redo everything. <laughs> as you just have to refresh a little bit i know just a refresh. little refresh so this has been wonderful and remember we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home until next time hey there if you're loving our podcast like we're loving our podcast we would love you to rate and review us head to itunes to do that it's easy and it would mean so much to us